Fallout 76 is still gaining more new players every day, and if you're one of the new ones, or you're thinking about trying it, then this is the guide for you. Welcome one and all to Fallout TV. In today's video we're going to go into managing your inventory within Fallout 76. Managing your inventory in Fallout 76 can be quite tricky, especially as it all needs to be stored away in a stash box. The easiest way to combat this would be to buy Fallout first. And with Fallout first you get multiple ways to store things, as storage is unlimited. But if you're like me and you don't want to spend the money on it, there are a few ways to keep your storage to a minimum. Now the weight limit on your character can vary depending on your perks, and what special you choose, and what armor you craft or find in the wasteland and the stash limit at your camp is 1200 and you can find yourself filling that up very quickly so one of the first things you're going to want to do is scrap everything what i mean by this is to make sure that you scrap most of what you pick up down to its raw materials as it always considerably less after doing so if your box is full of weapons make sure that you scrap what you don't need slash want as most of them unlock components for you to make upgrades as you go along next on the list is carry weight Carry weight can also be a massive burden, especially when it comes to navigating the map, whether that's fast travelling or just moving about. As if you become over encumbered, you can't fast travel or move about as freely as you'd like, so make sure you're carrying what you need. You can also craft yourself pocketed or deep pocketed armour, as that will add more room for extra carry weight. Up next we have plans. Plans for some reason have weight behind them, it's not much, but if you're farming them, it soon adds up, so make sure that you learn them to free up space or lose the carry weight. Anything you already know, maybe drop it in the donation box outside Vault 76 for new players to pick up. Next up we have misc items. I've often found myself wondering at times why I have no room or extra carry weight, especially after I've gotten rid of everything that I don't need. Checking the misc items tab from time to time pays off, as usually there's something in there that has unnecessary weight behind it that can be dropped, donated, scrapped or smelted. Now when it comes to choosing perks, there are perks that will help you manage your inventory. A couple of examples are a carry weight perk, gives you 50 extra carry weight. There's a perk to make your stim packs weigh less. There's a perk to make food and drink weigh less. So when you're building your character, just take that into consideration because it will benefit you in the long run to allow you to carry around more scrap, which then entitles you to be able to build whatever sort of camp you want and extra bits of armor and things like that. Power armor is another good example when it comes to inventory management. There are so many different variants of power armor within Fallout 76. You'll soon find yourself picking it all up, adding it to your stash box, keeping it on your person, and then before you know it, you've got no room left in your stash box, you've got no room left on your person because of power armor. It's mostly the chassis, the chassis weigh about 10 each, plus all the bits of armor that you then add to the chassis. In my opinion, it is not necessary that you need them all. In my opinion, power armor in Fallout 76 isn't necessary at all. So as long as you set all your perks up right and everything like that, you should be okay to not need power armor but it is completely your decision. The last thing to add to that is if you're gonna have them on display in your camp, it does count towards your stash limit. So if you're gonna go and get yourself 10 lots of power armor to put on display, that will decrease how much you can keep in your stash box. The final two things now, ammo. Ammo has a stack of carry weight, so make sure that you go through the ammo that you don't need, get rid of it, donate it, whatever you wanna do with it. And don't forget to check out the Atom store because there is a carry weight booster that you can buy in there and it gives you plus 50 carry wait for 30 minutes so i think that's everything from me if you're an experienced player and you've watched this video and then you think there's anything i've missed please don't forget to let me know in the comments and i'll go back and try and work it in into another video i've been fallout tv don't forget to like and subscribe to stay tuned into fallout tv and i'll be back soon with another video love you all goodbye